probably a year or two before she passed away, she asked would I build a large shed and put in cabinets and display them and so on. And uh, so people could come and visit the Egg Cup Museum <laughs> because there isn't one here in Ireland. She started collecting them back in 47, 48 years ago, there, thereabouts, when she had her first child. She didn't like eggs, she didn't like the taste of them. Uh, no, she never ate eggs. I, I don't know why she chose egg cups, but my last understanding was that there was one and a half thousand in the collection. I think it could be a lot more than that. I think it actually could be heading towards three thousand, but I could be wrong. Twice a year, the egg cups all had to be washed and dried. And when we were little, there was no dishwasher. Um, so everybody had to dig in, help washing them in the sink out there and uh, drying them off. The oldest brother, Chris, traveling around Europe in his van, passed down through France where my mother's brother lives, John. I uh, went by him, he'd been collecting some egg cups as usual for a while, had a little bit of a build-up, put them in a box, wrapped them up in brown tape. Uh, Chris put them in the van, continued on his travels, went into Kosovo where they suspected it was a bomb and he was held down on the ground at gunpoint till, till the issue got resolved. But as far as I'm aware, they evacuated the area. They're going to a museum up in Leitrim. It's called Glenview Museum. Yeah, they're delighted to be getting them. The family are delighted too. She'll be over the moon and she'll be delighted that it's getting a bit of coverage so that people will go and see them. As I say, the last thing she wants is them sitting in a box or where no one's looking at them. So 